a very good morning to my dear students and welcome to our psychology class so today i am going to teach you the theories of selective attention already we have come across the uh, concept of uh, attention then then its properties and also the different type of attention that is sustained attention selective attention and divided attention so today i am going to teach you about the theories of selective attention already you know what are the selective attention how it is that when we select a number of stimuli from many other stimuli then it is known as selective attention so we are giving the priority to the stimulus which we uh, uh like which are in uh, front of us or which we are and uh, which play a very important role in our day to day life okay so we tend to you know, choose those stimulus which are the most important for us so today i'm going to teach you about um, theories of selective attention so there are three theories filter theory filter attenuation theory and multimode theory so students let us begin with what is filter theory so this filter theory was developed by broadband in the year 1956 so according to this theory broadband actually said that many stimuli simultaneously enter our receptors creating a kind of bottleneck situation allow uh, uh, like and it allows only one stimulus to pass through for higher level of processing so according to broadband he said that there are a lot of information that come in front of us and uh, what happened it creates a bottleneck situation for us like uh, uh, like uh, uh, for now i'm getting the uh, no uh, the sound of rain then i'm also getting sound of the so filter attenuation theory states that uh, many other stimulus which come in front of you they create a bottle like situation because we have receptors we receive through our eyes through our ears through our skin so uh, through our nose etc right so every kind of stimulus is not possible to enter your higher level processing and for that a bottleneck is created in our human mind okay and our receptors also in the receptors the receptor receive information from the environment and what they create they create a bottle like bottleneck situation where everything is being uh, everything comes together and it becomes difficult for our uh, mind to select one particular stimuli okay so this particular filter theory actually says that there is a barrier that there, there, there is a filter in our mind which will help us to select those particular stimulus which are of greater importance okay and here they say that the informations which came to together and maybe out of 10 informations only one got selected or two got selected the other eight will be actually uh, deleted from our memory from our short term memory or you can say the initial um, in in a initial stage of our memory that is attention so uh, in this case in this particular theory it says that there is always a bottleneck there is always a filter in our mind which will actually filter those stimulus which are very important to us and go for the higher level processing maybe for long term memory so that you can uh, later you can retrieve the information okay now the second um, uh, this is the diagram how it looks for them this is stimuli these are stimulus and this is a selective filter so among all the stimulus only one particular stimulus or two particular stimulus will pass on to the higher level processing for uh, encoding information decoding information okay but everything who are left outside the barrier that is selective filter gets deleted from our memory and there's another theory which is given by trisman that is known as filter attenuation theory according to this particular theory he said that the stimulus which gets blocked in a bottleneck situation they does not get deleted completely rather they get weak so sometime it may happen that it that weaker memory or that weaker stimulus can also lead to higher order processing so you might uh, uh, feel that when you enter that room you saw certain things at the room you know that pink color box that yellow color teddy so it might not 
you might not remember directly uh, but maybe after one or two days you remember already uh, you might remember that that day i went in that room so i saw this i saw that or you might have been experiencing this particular sort of examples like when you are uh, any of your cousin or your parents they are searching for certain things and you suddenly say ma, ma uh, like it, it was there you know i saw there so it remains in your mind but the thing is it just weak and sometimes this weakness can come to a conscious mind and you might remember the things okay and uh, the third one is multimode theory which is developed by johnson and hines in 1978 they have three particular stages according to this theory the first stage is the information gathering stage that is known as sensory uh, representation with audio visual then skin uh, then taste and of course the smell we sense it okay that is known as sensory representation and does not require much effort but in stage two this senses uh, which uh, brings the information from outside world they are needed to be understood or they are needed to be analyzed and that is known as semantic representation which needs a lot of effort okay to understand to encode the information which is sorry to decode the information which is coming from the outside or the external world and the third is your sensory plus semantic so when these two join together they actually gives a synergy of the information and that's how we analyze it we interpret it and this is how they goes into the higher order uh, processing that is your memory and they uh, remain in our uh, memory for a longer period of time so this is uh, what uh, uh, the theory says about the three theory first of all it says that the information which get blocked uh, and get rejected by the selective filter they does not stay it gets deleted from our memory but according to the filter attention they say that the, the they are they don't get deleted but the thing is they remain there but the intensity of uh, the information uh, maybe it uh, it weakens okay but it does not get blocked completely and the third theory says that they are that there are three stages uh, for multi-mode theory of attention that first is your uh, giving attention i'm uh, sorry giving uh, uh, you know sensing it then trying to know it and also selection of one particular stimuli and trying to analyze it okay so in semantic representation what ha what we do we select those things which are very important to us among all the sensory inputs okay this is what is known as the, the uh, theory of attention please go to the video if there is any doubt uh, we will discuss in our live class thank you have a nice day and god bless you